city says the proposed temporary facility on Sand Island would help each homeless resident there for just $14 a day, but many who attended a public meeting tonight were not buying into that plan, even though it could get 100 chronically homeless off the streets. KITV Force Paul Drews reports. Riders ready, watch the gate. <laughs> These kids spent their afternoon at the Sand Island BMX track, racing over the ramps and flying into the air. Many are here two days every week, so it worries some of their parents. A homeless facility with up to 100 people will be located nearby. My concern is uh, safety for the kids. Um, if they're going to be able to control the, the homeless. Sand Island is a popular recreation area, not just for these high-flying kids pumping the pedals, but also for ocean users, including college sailors, numerous fishermen, and these canoe paddlers with Keahi Akahoi. Some have been dealing with the homeless here for more than a decade. When I first came here, like about 14, 15 years ago, this whole place was had homeless. We cleaned them out, the homeless moved away. Now the plan is to put in a transition center for those homeless headed into the city's Housing First program. The center would provide a place with bathrooms, showers, and storage. The city outlined who would be allowed in, those without a violent conviction in the past two years, who is also a documented resident. The program would exclude mainland transients and focus on Hawaii's chronic homeless. But there's still opposition to the plan. It's going to spill out. They're not going to stay in this spot. Some residents worry about more homeless roaming through their neighborhood, but the city says there would be bus service to the site. It would also come with one roaming security guard and another in a guard shack. Other residents had concerns about the location's distance to services and even the dirt under the project. There are some serious concerns about the toxicity in this area that the city has not done its due diligence to research. In some locations, we do have. Uh, levels of concern uh, for heavy metals such as arsenic or lead. The city plans to pave over the dirt with asphalt to contain those heavy metals and also clear the kiabi trees and provide shade. At this public hearing, even some homeless weighed in on the project, which would provide a place for homeless men or families, including pets. Some wondered why the focus isn't more on helping families that are struggling. You see little kids. I know it touches you. Are you doing anything about it? And you see the drug addicted guys looking around, hanging around the park looking for the drug dealers. How does that touch you? You know, you're putting a kid on the side to help this guy. I don't understand that. Now, the proposed site is expected to cost $100,000 to set up and half a million dollars a year to run, money that would come out of the funds for Housing First. But the city's managing director says the temporary facility is necessary because it would provide a transition for those homeless while they wait for units to become available in the Housing First program. The Sand Island site could be up and running in three months. All right.